Welcome back to Stay Brainy, Stay Curious. Are you ready to take on another riddle challenge? You know puzzles have been in existence since the beginning of humanity. From ancient civilizations to modern societies, the allure of solving intricate enigmas has been a constant. Whether it's deciphering hieroglyphics on ancient tablets or solving the latest crossword in the morning paper, puzzles engage our brains in the dance of logic, creativity, and critical thinking. So what are you waiting for? Let's get those brainwaves buzzing! First up, a crowd favorite, the matchstick puzzle. What you've got in front of you is a rather bogus equation. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to fix this equation by moving only one matchstick around. Remember, you cannot remove a matchstick, and putting one across the equal sign will result in instant mission failure. Good luck! Let's diffuse this riddle together. All you need to do is take the bottom left matchstick from the 6 and move it up to the 5 to make it a 9. Now you've got a brand new equation that reads 9 minus 5 equals 4, which any first grader would agree is correct. Wow! Now let's test your wit. We've got a cheeky riddle that has stumped many. Here's how it goes. I am a dress that can never be worn. What am I? The answer is address. You certainly cannot wear an address, but it does contain the word dress in it. A viewer actually suggested dressing, which is a great answer. Now, technically, you do dress a salad with dressing. That's pretty much where the word comes from. But you yourself cannot wear it, so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys in the comment section to solve this dilemma. Next, we move on to some math decoding. Based on the two equations, can you find out what A, B, and C stand for? Ready for the answer? Let's do this! To figure out A, we need to add the numbers in the ones place together. It might be easier for you to imagine if you rewrite the equation in the vertical adding form. 3 and 2 make 5, so A must be 5. Moving on to B. This one's a bit trickier, but we apply the exact same method of vertical addition by adding the numbers in the ones place first. Now, 6 plus 6 is 12, but remember, in vertical addition, we put down the 2 in 1's place and carry over the 1 to the 10's place. For now, we have figured out that B equals 2. To solve for C, we know that C plus 0 plus 1 that was carried over from the 12 equals 2. Well, that means that C must be equal to 1. Here's the original question, and if you plug our numbers in, you'll see that it all works out perfectly. Ooh, fun, more math. This is frankly a very similar brain teaser, but you'll find this one requires a bit more thinking. You might need a pen and paper, but if you can solve this in your head, wow, color me impressed. Okay, you keep those answers to yourself until we all solve this together, deal? 
let us start with the first equation. Seems to be the most obvious choice since we already know what the cabbage is in terms of the bell pepper. I'm going to plug it in for the cabbage in the second equation. That gives me carrot minus two bell peppers equals two. All right, now the third equation gives me another relationship between the carrot and the bell pepper, so I can try to marry those two together. What I'm going to do is solve for the carrot in the second equation. Shift things around and the carrot is equal to two plus two bell peppers. Plug the carrot into the third equation and we've got two plus two bell peppers plus one equals one bell pepper. Now we simply solve for the bell pepper, which after a bit of math, we find out is equal to negative three. Awesome. Now it's downhill from here. Knowing what the bell pepper is, we can solve for the cabbage using the first equation. Two times negative three means the cabbage is equal to negative six. And finally, the carrot. Two plus two times negative three. That's two minus six, which is negative four. So the carrot is equal to negative four. As always, if you want to double check our work, feel free to pause the video and plug in our newfound numbers in lieu of the vegetables. Does everything work out correctly? Let's take a break from all those numbers just for a second. Time for another riddle. What thrives when you feed it, but dies when you water it? It's fire! Most things you throw into the fire will only make it bigger, but pour water and you can extinguish that fire. Wow! Okay, we're back to math again. But don't worry, this one's easy. Unless you can't do third grade math. Which a lot of people apparently can't. So let's see if you get tricked too. So honestly, this is not a difficult problem as long as you remember to do multiplication first, you're halfway home. 25 times 0 is 0. Easy. Now, I think a lot of people got tripped here because of the negative signs and possibly got confused about where to go next. But as long as you work from left to right, you should be safe from making any mistakes. 25 plus 25 is 50. Minus 0 is still 50. Minus 4 is 46. And then plus 25 is 71. Voila! 71 is the correct answer. Ah, another matchstick puzzle. This time with the added obstacle of division. This should be a bit more challenging. Don't forget about the order of operations. Did you manage? Let's see. What you need to do is take the top left vertical matchstick from the 9 and shift it over to the second 5 to make it a 6. Your new equation is going to read 5 minus 6 divided by 3 equals 3. We solve 6 divided by 3 first, which is 2, and then 5 minus 2 is indeed 3. Brilliant! Last brain teaser of the day also involves numbers, but I promise you don't have to do much math to solve this one. It's easier than it seems, you just have to be smart about this. Let's see if you can figure it out.
there are two approaches you can take. The first one is to look at the formula for each term. We know that 4 is an even number, and multiples of an even number are always even. That means that 4x plus 1 has to be an odd number. All of the answers are odd numbers except for b, which is even, so b does not belong. The second approach is to simply look at the first four numbers in the sequence. You see how they all have either 1 or 5 in their ones place? That's it, that's your hint. The only choice that does not have a 1 or a 5 in its ones place is choice B. If you managed to solve even just one of these puzzles, congratulations, they were not easy. But I guarantee that you're that much smarter after watching this video as your brain synapses shot up in a million directions. I hope you learned something new, I hope you had fun, and I hope you always stay brainy. See you soon for another mind-wrecking challenge.